Hi, it's David here, and this is Deek Star 2. This is the Galaxy main page, and I've just selected the main or the first solar system. It's a 4x4 grid, 16 sector, and you'll notice I've found the sun already. I can't actually attack the sun until I've found the planets, uh, and I've found one already. Here you'll notice there's a shield that follows my uh, cursor as it goes around the ship. It's not there at the moment because I'm actually firing. The shield drops when I actually fire. The player fires. Um, oh, and you notice here that there's a number of blue spheres um, being dropped by the mine layer, and that those spheres there actually absorb the fire as you're um, trying to shoot through them, uh, which is not good. But to get rid of those, all you have to do is destroy just one of the mine layers, and all the mines will self-destruct. Um, which is a pretty good idea, as you can see, it's just about covered me completely, especially when it's one or two layers. Um, but just going back to the shield, the shield will absorb any incoming fire. Um, it won't deflect asteroids. Uh, but the biggest problem is, is that the shields will drop as you fire and they take a short time to recover. You'll notice there's another shield you can call it as well, but um, we won't touch on that at this stage. Uh, the whole purpose of this level is to amass a certain amount of mass, so you actually have a collector that uh, you right click to guide on to the nearest asteroid and it will be materials. Find enough materials, it will uh, engage quantum celerity uh, drive, and uh, this will basically destroy everything in the sector and pop you out of that sector. Uh, the other good thing is, is that um, if any ships uh, lose control, they come directly at you and they will actually destroy themselves before they impact uh, because the gravity is is too much for them so um, that's quite handy that you don't have to worry about having to shoot them if they're coming directly at you but you still need to absorb any firepower or any lasers that they shoot at you um, so just looking here we're just waiting for uh, to accumulate enough materials you'll see on the top left there's also a radar which indicates where incoming ships are coming from uh, and I've just put out another collector. There are a, only a select number of collectors. You can get level ups as you go along, um, and you can also get artifacts that allow you to have more collectors um, because once you get to the more tougher levels, uh, it's quite easy to lose those collectors. And once you've lost those collectors, you can't mine enough materials, and you eventually get sucked into your own quantum. Singularity. Uh, you also notice that the shields now have two. Uh, there's an inner one. Uh, uh, another pickup for the shields is found. You'll find the inner one permanent, and you can actually fire. And I've done that, so I can now fire an and a shield, which is very, very handy. Uh, there are level ups in the level up screen that allow you to retain a certain amount of pickups. Uh, which is quite handy uh, for your firing because we should start the fire is pretty weak. You can see it's quite good now. And we've got missiles now as well. They can be turned on and off so we can select number. Um, yeah, so there's quite a bit. As I said, at the moment I'm just trying to survive uh, and pick up enough money because we can actually uh, spend money on upgrades for additional fire damage from firepower and so on, and also recovery time of your shields, because you notice that the shields do take a while to come back after you fired, uh, you can actually reduce that recovery time, which is quite handy when you uh, when you get to the bigger levels and there's just masses of